Movies, games, books, TV shows, governments, and buildings all have one thing in common, and that is writing. Why is that important? Why do we need to read? Why does it matter to have the ability to communicate through writing? Well, every movie, every book you've ever read, every, every TV show you've ever watched, without writing, it wouldn't exist. If it, your favorite building, it also wouldn't exist without the ability to write and the ability to understand what people are writing. Writing is very important to me personally, and as such I'm more than happy to share my own personal viewpoint as to why it's a vital skill to have. Um, today I'm going to be talking about three major points in which I feel writing and the ability to read are very important. I'll be talking first about the role literacy plays in in government bodies. You know, your, your lawyers, your lawmakers, contractors, etc. And after that, I'll be diving in a little bit to... On ha and I'll be diving in a little bit on how important literacy is in, in entertainment and how that has value to society and how that shapes society. And then finally, I'll be talking about the importance of literature from a more personal standpoint. Um, understanding one another and understanding the written languages of various cultures and basically literacy is a snapshot. <clears throat> so I'm going to dive right in. What role does writing play in government systems? Why is that important? Well, the drafting of laws and the writing of legal contracts are written in what is referred to as legalese, which is a form of highly specialized English, in America at least, using a lot of specific legal te uh, terminology, which is often hard to understand. And the purpose behind it is to bring predictability to the law and allow lawyers a little bit more flexibility when it comes to um, being able to forecast what the what cases will end up being like and it's supposed to provide an answer for every possible question and eliminate ambiguity but a lot of everyday people can't understand it at all and just about every building around us, every government institution, is the result of a written document being produced and enforced by other written documents or laws. As such, important understanding how things are written and understanding the work and content that goes into it, it's pretty important. In fact, not understanding the legalese, when you're drafting a contract or reading a legal document, it can be very detrimental. After all, there's the phrase, reading between the lines, which is supposed to be like, hey, be careful, don't get scammed. But if you can't understand what it's saying, it's hard to not get scammed. So why is it... it, it so it kind of shows itself as to why it's important to be literate. I mean, when the Constitution of the United States of America was being uh, drafted, if people weren't literate, then the Bill of Rights wouldn't have been... Uh, the Bill of Rights wouldn't have been implemented. And that alone kind of shows a little bit more... a little bit of the importance to being literate. Um... There's a lot of pushback against legalese currently, according to 
one of the sources I found. Um, it's basically they the pushback is hey we should make this a little bit clearer for ordinary people to understand so people don't get you know screwed over that's not a bad thing right anyway now that i've explained a little bit on the importance of literacy in government i would like to talk a bit a little bit more about entertainment um because as you all know, writing is an art form, too. And the written language is ubiquitous, and it has leaked and permeated society for centuries at this point. And most things we enjoy, um, again, TV shows, movies, books, all of that's produced by people putting pen to paper and getting their ideas out there. Nothing, it is, arguably the biggest form of writing is books and literature, because it's been around the longest. And literature has something for everybody. It's, it's got all of what makes humans humans, and fiction has been used by humanity throughout its time on Earth to express feelings and viewpoints, what they think about the natural world, what they think about their current Pope. Um, and looking at writings from specific time periods can tell us a lot about the culture and the ideals, beliefs, and values of people held at, uh, that people held at a given time period, as well as how people spent their free time. Fiction's impact on, on society is massive. I mean, we've all heard phrases like Big Brother and um, you're an albatross upon my... Uh, you're like an albatross on my shoulder. All of that comes from literature. Um, specifically, the things I referenced are from George Orwell's 1984, a dystopian, a dystopian novel that a lot of people refer to nowadays. And the second one, The Albatross, is from uh, Coleridge's Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. But of course, surprise, Shakespeare, again. Shakespeare has contributed a lot to the English language in particular, and English mannerisms, and speech. Um, but then you have characters like Sherlock Holmes, for example. Everyone's heard of him, to the point where, according to this book, actually, uh, of a few Britons surveyed, 58% uh, of the Britons surveyed in 2008, 58% believe that Sherlock Holmes is a real person, because he's that famous, that ubiquitous. And stuff like that wouldn't exist if people weren't literate, if people weren't able to write and get their feelings out there. It's... I read Kaylin Gao's fiction uh, article, uh, How Fiction Impacts Fact, and it points out a lot of the stuff I've already said, and it was a really good read. Now, I've talked about how legal documents shape the world, how entertaining writing shapes the mind, but how important is writing on an interpersonal level? And the benefits of being able to write are massive. Um, according to Indeed.com, strong writing capabilities lead to better positions in companies, as well as higher quality resumes get hired by those companies. Strong writing includes the, the following. Clarity, being able to speak your message completely clearly, get it across perfectly fine. Conciseness, something I personally struggle with because I tend to ramble. Um, meaning, keeping it brief, keeping it close. I mean, Shakespeare once said, 
Gravity is the soul of all wit. A clear tone, meaning you, you are writing with a clear purpose in mind, that everything is getting directly onto the page as you, as you envision it. Usage of proper grammar, punctuation, and the active voice, which I'm sure, as far as school goes, we've all had English papers where your professor or teacher or whatever is just, please use the active voice instead of the passive voice. Um, an example I've personally heard is, instead of saying, mistakes were made, say, I made a mistake, because the active voice, the second one, gives you a little bit more... It, it, it gives a little bit more purpose to it. Saying mistakes were made, just poor writing. Of course, being able to write also has good personal benefits. For example, a lot of therapists recommend keeping a journal of your experiences and feelings to express things a little bit better to give yourself a little bit more compartmentalization here. And being able to write and read clearly also has benefits when it comes to accessibility as well. Clear and concise, and concise writing abilities are really important to people with disabilities, such as blindness, navigate, when it comes to navigating the internet. Because a lot of websites require clear transcriptions of the site's content and the images on the site and all of the information therein that can then be spoken out loud through the computer so everyone gets access to it. And written communication also helps those who can't hear or speak the way any of us do. A personal example is when I assisted a deaf patron at the library because I worked there when it was open. And since I don't know sign language, I was only able to help him because I was able to jot down, hey, here's what I'm doing for you. So, in, so to conclude, I've delved a little bit, because there is, it's just the tip of the iceberg, into a few areas in which reading and writing are very important. I talked about its role in government. I talked about its role in entertainment and the cultural value therein, and I finished with its importance on a person-to-person -person basis. I hope I've been able to turn a few heads as far as shedding light on the importance of, of literacy. And while I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, its effects are all around us, and it's hard to argue that there's a very clear effect felt by the ability to write. Um, thank you very much for your time. I'm gonna cut it short, because short, I rambled.